everyone. Welcome back to the Prime 5, your five biggest Nintendo news stories in the last 24 hours. Uh, we have a brand new time that we're now doing this at, so I hope you enjoy the video. Drop a like and subscribe and all that's going to be happening at this exact same time every day. I'm not even sure what the time is, so I can't even tell you, but the time is what the time is. We have stories on a brand new Nintendo Direct, not just a Mario one, but maybe an additional Direct this year related to games, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we have a new mock-up for a potential Zelda themed Switch OLED that just looks sexy as hell if I do say so myself we have the return of a cancelled GBA game oh and a brand new game just launched on Switch that I just want to remind you guys about so hey you know what drop a like subscribe to the channel and let's get into the news So our first story deals with the biggest news that happened, and that is that there's going to be a Mario Movie Nintendo Direct happening this Thursday, October 6th at 1.05 p.m. Pacific Time. We will be live streaming that event right here at the channel, so you won't have to go anywhere. We'll have that stream set up a little bit later today. I'm really excited for it, and we don't really know what's going to be in it besides Mario Movie. They did note there is not going to be any video games in this Direct, but... It's a direct dedicated to a Mario movie. Now, the New York Comic Con panel for this movie is 45 minutes long. What if the direct is just that panel? I have no idea, but we're going to watch it together. That being said, in addition to this news on this direct, Dove Gray, who has a pretty good track record on Twitter, not going to dive too deep into it, noted that Nintendo has another direct planned for the end of this year that's not the movie. Now, this could just be a dedicated game direct for, say, Pokemon or Bayonetta 3, something like that. Maybe it's a Nintendo Direct Mini. We haven't had one of those. Could be some Indie World Direct, although they just call those Indie Worlds, not Directs. So I have no idea what it could be, but he claims that there will be something before the end of this year. I guess we'll have to wait and see on that. Anyways, let's get into our next story. And that is that we have a brand new update for Nintendo Switch Online. And this is one I want to talk about because I'm a little bit excited about it. So they're adding new icons that you can buy with platinum points. And they've been doing this for a while. And I got to admit, it's sort of a guilty pleasure that I actually really enjoy these icons. I haven't bought any yet, but I am going to buy this Breath of the Wild set because I've been holding on to my platinum points, waiting for a set that I can't deny. And this is one of those sets, maybe a Tears of the Kingdom set next year as well. I don't know. I, I low-key think this is a pretty cool thing. They could just include all these avatars and all this for free, of course, but it at least feels like you're progressing towards something with your platinum points. So I don't know. I actually kind of sort of like this. It's almost like a guilty pleasure of Nintendo Switch Online, and they're available right now. Oh, Animal Crossing as well. Can't forget those ones. Speaking of Zelda, we have a new fan mock-up of the Nintendo Switch OLED for Tears of the Kingdom. Now, yes, this is just a mock-up, but honestly, I'm going to keep sharing mock-ups like this over and over and over again until we literally will a Tears of the Kingdom Switch into existence. If we don't get a themed Switch OLED, Switch Pro, Switch Lite, Joy-Cons, Pro Controller, I don't know. But if we don't get a Tears of the Kingdom themed stuff for the release of that game, I am going to pull my hair out literally. So let's just say <clears throat> I'm going to keep making these stories until it happens because I really want it to happen. Next up, we're going to talk about an old GBA game coming back. That's right. A Dune game that was supposed to come out exclusively on Game Boy Advance announced in 2002 never actually released, has returned on Steam. Technically, it made its first return in 2015. It leaked to the internet a build of the game, but a failed Kickstarter was launched a little bit ago, raised about $20,000 for it. But whatever happened, they had the source code and they were able to re-release this game on Steam. You can get it for about $15 US. Uh, they are calling it Elend instead of Dune. They've removed all the references to Dune because I'm guessing that they don't have the IP license for Dune anymore. Uh, but yeah, it looks really cool. It's nice to see a part of history that never came out come back, even if it doesn't have the Dune themes anymore. I'm just kind of happy to see this thing exist, even though it's not on Switch and it's, you know, whatever. I uh, Look, maybe it'll come to Switch if it's successful on Steam. So there is that. And our last story today is just talking about a game that just came out on Switch. I want to remind you guys about it's free to play. We're talking Overwatch 2. It just came out yesterday. I played a little bit of it. It's pretty fun. It's Overwatch all over again. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. I don't know what your feelings are on Overwatch. There's also other games like it, like Paladins on Switch that's free to play. So, hey, do what you want with it. Enjoy the game. Don't play the game. That's really up to you. But it's just another quality experience on Switch. And the Switch version of it is pretty damn good. I'm just throwing that out there. It's pretty damn good. Is it going to beat PC? 
No, but it's pretty good. So, that being said, I am the Theater of Jazz from Nintendo Prime. Thanks for tuning in to today's Prime 5, and I'll catch you in the next video.